most definitely will come. The one constant through all the years has been baseball. Go the distance. Poppy, we need to go the distance. Would you play a little catch with me? Oh, you want to have a catch with me? Yeah. Hell to the no. You're still a Yankee. I'm a Red Sox. That would never happen, son. See you when I see you. I look myself in the mirror comfortably if I vote yes, and I vote for him. When you look at his 541 homers, it's a new Red Sox home run record. You look at his postseason. Out of here! Out of here! Grand slam, David Ortiz! And you see the three championships. And the Boston Red Sox have won the World Series. Without that New York Times story, we're talking about his coronation next summer in Cooperstown. In his first six years in the big leagues, all with the Minnesota Twins, David Ortiz gave no indication that he might someday enter the Baseball Hall of Fame. He hit 266 and averaged fewer than 10 home runs a season before the Twins released him in 2002. And then obviously things changed when he went to Boston. Boy, what a change that was. It's gone! It's gone! It's gone! Ortiz does it again! As all Red Sox fans know, the entire history of the franchise changed after that. In Ortiz's second season in Boston, the Red Sox were down three games to none to the Yankees in the AL Championship Series. Behind Ortiz's MVP performance, Boston would come back to win. The only such comeback in Major League history. In the World Series, they kept winning, sweeping St. Louis. For the first time in 86 years, the Red Sox have won baseball's World Championship. Can you believe it? With Ortiz, it wasn't just about the production. It was also his charm, his ebullience, his graciousness. People just come to him. He has that kind of a personality where people just want to be part of it. And of course, he put his stamp on things in the aftermath of the marathon bombing. It is a chaotic scene. A pair of explosions, what was supposed to be the finish line to the Boston Marathon. This jersey, it doesn't say Red Sox. It say Boston. This is our city. Stay strong. Six months later, with Boston still in the process of healing, Ortiz would lift the Red Sox to a third championship in 10 seasons. His performance in the 2013 World Series was one of the great single World Series anyone has ever had. He's done it again! Big Poppy doing what he has done since he put on that Boston Red Sox uniform. The Red Sox are the World Series champions! El último golpe de la candidatura de David Ortiz es lo que hizo en postemporada, los actos heroicos. Without that survey testing, we're not even having this conversation about him. In 2009, the New York Times reported that David Ortiz had tested positive for performance enhancing drugs six years earlier, when the names of those who tested positive were not supposed to be released. I never use or buy any steroids. I don't know why. Nobody can tell me why I'm on the list. The list is very unclear. We don't even know what he tested for was indeed a banned substance. If David Ortiz pulls out 45% of the vote, that's the reason. If David Ortiz pulls 20% or never gets into the Hall of Fame, that's the reason. 
because by any other measure, he's a Hall of Famer. There isn't anybody as good as him in the majors, I don't think. Potentially, sure, there's guys that play better now, but I think his skills are equal to or better. Number 500 for Alex Rodriguez. The youngest man ever to get to 600 home runs. Jack Wall, see ya. He did it in style. There's some numbers that you just sit there and, and marvel at. Una carrera que debió estar compitiendo para igualar a Mariano Rivera con el 100% de aprobación. Y tenemos a un jugador que va a tener que lidiar con votaciones del 50% muy lejos. There's so many things that enter into it. My main concerns for him are probably off the field, which is a possible threat in professional baseball. Seattle. Yeah! He was the first pick in the 1993 baseball draft. And since day one, greatness was expected from Alex Rodriguez. El chico perfecto, perfecto, para vendérselo a Estados Unidos, para vendérselo a República Dominicana, para vendérselo a América Latina. Way back, upper deck, Alex Rodriguez. In his first full season, Rodriguez hit 358 to win the batting title. He was just 21. From that season on in Seattle, he would average 37 home runs per season. Then... The Rangers and Alex Rodriguez will officially announce his signing with Texas. Ten years, $252 million, making him by far the highest paid player in the history of team sports. Gold gloves in Texas, 50 homer seasons in Texas. He was on his way to potentially surpassing Hannes Wagner as the greatest shortstop of all time. Then, of course, he became a third baseman next to Derek Jeter. Wow. I still feel like uh, someone's going to pinch me and wake me up. Opportunity to be a New York Yankee. Rodriguez won two of his three MVP awards in New York. But in the postseason, he was mostly a different player, which helped make him something less than a fan favorite in the Bronx. I don't think people could find the authenticity that they were looking for. And then obviously, when you add the drugs to it, it becomes almost fatal. ESPN confirmed Rodriguez tested positive performance enhancing drugs back in 2003. When I arrived in Texas, I felt uh, an enormous amount of pressure. I was young, I was stupid. Um, I was naive, and I wanted to prove I was worth being one of the greatest players of all time. The Yankees are back on top. Following his admission, Rodriguez led the Yankees through the 2009 postseason to win his only World Series ring. Four years later, Rodriguez was again in trouble for PEDs. A-Rod has been suspended for 162 games for his involvement in the biogenesis scandal this is my whole life, my legacy. I'm part of history. So if you're gonna try to destroy all of that, I'm saying no. You tell me why I should serve one inning. He sued baseball. Sued the team doctor. Sued his own players association. That put the lid on Alex Rodriguez's career where people looked at him and said, it's going to be very difficult to vote for him for the Hall of Fame. This man hit 696 home runs, and we're not talking about him being a slam dunk. And that's what this whole conversation is about, these Rushmores of the game who have complicated the game in such a way that it becomes a debate. 